Hi, my name is Joe Cartwright. I'm an ACSM certified personal trainer in North Canton, Ohio. Today I want to talk about self-myofascial release. A lot of people deal with tightness and soreness in their bodies throughout the day, and this can be caused from a connective tissue called fascia, which surrounds your muscle. Over time, that fascia compresses tighter and tighter against your muscle and traps the fluid moving freely between that fascia and the muscle. This can't be relieved from traditional stretching, which is why we use these self-myofascial techniques to break up that tightness and that soreness and get the fluid moving freely between that fascia and the muscle again. Let me show you a few examples. The first exercise I wanted to talk about is rolling with the foam roller on your back. A lot of people deal with back pain because of the occupation that they're in. They're hunched over at a desk all day long and that poor posture causes a lot of stress on that low back. So what I'm gonna have Hannah do is sit herself up on the foam roller and walk herself out with her legs, placing your hands behind her so she has a good brace. And once you get comfortable, we're just gonna roll back and forth from shoulders to hips, making sure you don't go higher than your shoulders or lower than those hips. Now a point of caution is to make sure that you don't go too far off to the side on your low back because you have potential to injure your floating ribs that are down there. The next exercise that I wanna show you is for the piriformis. This is a small pear-shaped muscle on the side of your hip and underneath of your glutes. So what Hannah's gonna do is place herself up, just like we started with the back on the foam roller, cross one leg over the other, and lean into that leg that's crossed. And you're just gonna roll back and forth. It's a small muscle, so you're not gonna cover a lot of distance, but when you do feel that trigger point or that tender spot, that's where you wanna stop slowly work your way back and forth along that to break that up. Make sure that you do the other side as well. Another exercise is good for runners. A lot of runners that are tight and don't stretch are gonna have what's called a tight IT band or iliotibial band. So to roll this out, you do exactly like Hannah's doing now. Cross one leg over the other. Roll from hip to knee in between those two joints. If you really want to focus on the attachment of the IT band, you're going to move your way up, roll off to the side, and hit your, one of your hip flexors, which is called your tensor fasciolata, or TFL for short. Once again, make sure that you do both sides. The last exercise I want to show you is using a tennis ball. We use the tennis ball to trigger a more specific spot so it's more focused around that area. So I'm going to have Hannah do is place this tennis ball behind her back on the inside of her scapula. And what you're gonna do is work all the way around that border. And when you find a tender, tender spot, stop, try to sink into this tennis ball to release some pain. As far as hand placement goes, you can put it on the floor, but if you have it stretched out like Hannah does, this will give you more of an intense roll with the tennis ball. You can also do this with the pec minor placing the tennis ball right underneath the clavicle and rolling side to side. Once again, when you find a tender spot, stop, let your body sink into that tennis ball, and break up that tightness. That's all I have for today. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you learned some valuable information. If you would like more information, feel free to contact me at the address on the screen.